We're thrilled to be talking today with author Alice Henderson. Alice is an established horror and fantasy writer who has penned novels in the fictional universes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, and Supernatural, Natural, as well as creating comics and video game material. She has written original short stories and standalone novels, including Voracious and the Skyfire Saga, a suspenseful cli fi Is that how you say it? cli fi trilogy about a determined woman on a quest to save the planet from destruction. No small task. We first came to Alice's writing via her new mystery thriller series featuring wildlife biologist Alex Carter. Chris has raved about the first book in the series, A Solitude of Wolverines, and I'm currently reading it. As a matter of fact, I have about 25 pages to go. (laughs) The second Alex Carter novel, A Blizzard of Polar Bears, is coming out on November 9th. Alice is obviously a talented writer, and her work as a wildlife researcher adds great realism and authority to her characters and the situations in which Alex Carter finds herself. As a wildlife researcher, Alice has conducted surveys for the presence of grizzlies, wolves, spotted owls, wolverines, jaguars, endangered bats, and more. Welcome, Alice. Thank you so much, Chris and Emily. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, We're so excited to talk with you today. And we thought we'd jump right in and ask about the Alex Carter series. Can you tell us a little bit like your elevator pitch about the not the series itself? Of course, I'd be delighted. So my Alex Carter series is about a wildlife biologist who travels to different locations and encounters dangerous situations while trying to help endangered species in the field. And each book will be about a different animal. So the first one is about wolverines, and the second is about polar bears. And the one I'm writing right now is about mountain caribou. And I wanted each book to be the group name of the animal and then the animal, like a parliament of owls or a murder of crows. And when I decided, okay, I'm gonna do wolverines for my first book, I went to find out what their group name is and found out they're so solitary, they actually have no group name. So I had to make up one of my own. So I came up with a solitude of wolverines. Yeah, and that's perfect. I I love the title and I love the wolverines too and learning about them in the book. Um, One of the things too is just how they just keep trucking straight on, whether it's uphill or downhill, they don't alter their pace. They're just like little tanks, it sounds like. They are absolutely. When you see them moving in the wild, that's just what they move like. They're just, they're going. They might look around, but they're just trucking along. Nothing distracts them. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, can you talk a little bit about how you got into writing? When your um, when uh, Solitude of Wolverines first showed up here at Book Cougar Studios, we were just like, oh, this is so cool. I saw the blurb by Nevada Bar. I'm like, well, that's a must read. And we kind of assumed that it was your first novel, but then when we looked at um, your website, you have been very prolific. And so we were curious if you could talk about your entry into writing. My very first entry, um, I started writing really young when I was six, actually. My dad, who was also a writer, he was at the MFA Creative Writing Program in Iowa, and he upgraded from an electric to an electric typewriter from a portable typewriter and gave me this old... Underwood, <laughs> I think it actually been his dad's. And so I started writing stories on that when I was six, like mystery stories, detective stories, and horror and science fiction. And and he actually submitted some of those early stories for me to like Cricket Magazine and things like that. Oh, wow. um, and then later on, uh, I got my undergrad partially in writing and partially in like field zoology and biogeography and things like that. It was, it was a mix of the arts and sciences, my undergrad. And that's when I really started submitting in earnest um, and then lucked out with, I worked for George Lucas for a while and I got some Star Wars credits under my belt. And then that really, I think, helped get the Buffy the Vampire Slayer novel gigs. And then I started publishing my own original fiction, as they say, where you own your own IP with Voracious. And so that was really exciting. And at the time, Thrillers are, are like my favorite thing to read. Absolutely. And I had never brought my wildlife research world together with my writing world for some reason. Although I did write about wildlife themes and wilderness themes, that wasn't usually the main point of the books. And I decided I really wanted to do that. And with this cli-fi series you mentioned, which is that coined term for climate change fiction, it's like sci-fi, but cli-fi. Um, 
I started writing about, you know, what would happen if we continued with business as usual and climate change was just left unchecked and species extinction. So that was the first time I really started to address it in earnest. And then one day I was out in Montana, actually, um, setting out my bioacoustic recorders to try to get some wolves. And I thought, why aren't I writing about this? I mean, I love thrillers. This is super isolated, creepy setting, you know, and uh, or it could be creepy. I love the outdoors, but it is isolated and remote and it would be a great setting for a thriller. And I could have this lead character be a wildlife biologist and each book would be a different species. And I just got really excited. And I went back to camp that night and I started writing and I created Alex Carter and came up with the first species I would address. So that's really how I came to thrillers was, gosh, I love this genre. Why aren't I writing in this genre? On the cold, creepy night in Montana. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Creasing myself out writing these scenes. <laughs> 